Okay, my people, a major warning from God. Major warning. And before I get into the major warning, I want to start this video off by saying I want to actually thank the people who think I'm a racist or I'm racist as shit and still here to hear this truth despite their personal feelings about me. Thank you and may God bless you all. And I also want to thank the listeners who support or supported this ministry and was so kind to donate. May God bless you tenfold and all the people who supported me or this channel or this truth from day one. May God bless us all and keep us safe in all this mayhem that's about to take place. Amen. I love you all. Okay, with that, let's get into what I'm going to say today. Or, should I say the spirit is going to say. Because like I said, don't come for me. So, my spirit has really been warning me about this date, December 21st, 2017. And a bunch of alarms is going off inside my spirit and my soul on that date. And something keeps saying, you got less than 30 days. Some just keep saying that, you know, and hopefully it ain't just me or hopefully it's just me. Who knows? You know, so we got less than 30 days. I don't know what that means. But anyway, this warning, uh, this warning is about the date, December 21st, 2017. And I'm, I'm going to tell you this. I did not get this date from anybody, but the spirit leading me to certain things. Yes, this date is on the calendar. Yes, this date means something. But I didn't watch any video, didn't jump to some conclusion, didn't come tell you something. No, this is coming straight from the Spirit. And I have been pretty much keeping it to myself. But alarms keep going off all over the place. And so, we're going to get into those alarms. The first alarm, and I want you to take this serious, was Donald Trump himself. That nasty Illuminati message stating we was going to have a Merry Christmas this year. He then stated very slickly it will be red. I know what that means. Uh, Nibiru is going to show. That's what hit me right away as soon as he said that. And then he tried to cover it up by saying something about ornaments or something. And then I knew that was a warning and also a double message. So he said, so after that, uh, he said, we're going to have a Merry Christmas this year, right? And he keeps saying that. Do you know he said that like two or three years ago? Yeah. And he was adding up to his presidency all the way to now. I don't know. Okay. Seeing Christmas Eve is uh, three days after the winter solstice. Christmas Eve is three days after the winter solstice. I want you to remember that. So here's Donald Trump's nasty Illuminati message. And something I said so much during the last two years, but I'll say it again as we approach the end of the year. You know, we're getting near that beautiful Christmas season that people don't talk about anymore. They don't use the word Christmas because it's not politically correct you go department stores and they'll say happy new year and they'll say other things and it'll be red they'll have it painted but they don't say well guess what we're saying merry christmas again the second alarm was when this average woman on the internet telling her dream uh on the 6th of november about the number six nine and forty five that were placed in boxes and I did a video on this where there were opposite forces opposing and 45 days from that dream is the winter solstice again see which is on December 21st 2017 that date they keep disturbing the shit out of me but it ain't that date I, I believe it's something happening before that date which is a war that's what I believe which has something to do with opposites, just like her, in her, in this dream, she's saying the opposites opposing each other, almost like a war getting ready to happen. And, and well, like it will be the shortest day 
in one part of the winter solstice of the earth and the longest night in another you know it's opposites I basically was as if I was looking down at a piece of paper and on that piece of paper I saw three boxes lined up in one row on the first in the first box was the number six and also in that box was like a picture of many people it just a whole bunch of people and then in the box next to it the box in the middle was the number 45 and then in the box next to that was the number nine underneath that box was or those boxes were yet um, a second row of boxes and this time there were only two boxes one on the left and one on the right the box on the left had the number six and it also had people in that box I forgot to mention the box up top that had the nine also had people and then on the second row the box with the nine also had um, people I perceived in the dream that these boxes represented political parties that were opposing or political ideologies that were in opposition to one another at once they were lined up you see 666 and you know that 666 is the number um, of a man is the man of perdition okay so you have the man of perdition also I noticed that the six were on the left hand side and we know that the Lord Messiah will separate the sheep from the goat and the goats go to the left and then the sheep go to the right so those are the things that I kind of saw and on the other side we saw the uh, 999 you see 999 I felt those were God's people in the dream um, the, I felt Christians were on that right hand side so I felt like the nines represented or were in line with the Word of God those are the people that had beliefs ideologies that were in line with the Word of God I had an epiphany and I said oh Donald Trump is the 45th president and it seemed like once this 45 was removed out of the way then you have these political parties with opposing ideologies that come um, face to face with each other or in opposition to one to another if you put the six and the nine together looks like the yin and the yang and when I pulled that up it pulled it corresponded to December 21st as being the winter equinox what the sign of the yin and the yang deals with or the different equinoxes so um, I did look at the equinox for this year for winter and it is December 21st so I had the dream tonight November or this morning November 6 early this morning and um, then I looked up December 21st I went to the date calculator in Google you can just put how many days from November 6 to December 21st and it is the 45 days is exactly 45 days once I had looked at all of these pieces it, it seemed that there's going to be a progression of darkness into the fullness of darkness the third alarm took me back to 10 19 2017 you know October 19, 2017, where there was a Google Doodle that showed the sun and the scales of Libra as the 144,000 rise. You know, that was a strong Illuminati message as well. And why do you say, why do these Illuminati keep giving us messages like this? Because they know this simple fact from God. Warning comes before destruction. Warning always 
come before destruction. So they put the warning out there in a Google Doodle. They put the warning out there in the phrase, Merry Christmas. You have to be so woke as to catch these when they come. You know, and if you don't, then there's people like me, messengers who give this, and warners and watchmen who give, give you these messages as they come or as they present themselves. So clicking on that doodle leads you to a page where it talks about the prediction of the sun going out. And I did a video of the sun being blocked. Like half of the sky was black and, and this is in my own backyard and half of the sky was light. Something was eclipsing our sun on a normal day. You know. And uh, we will be in darkness for three days during the winter solstice again is what this guy was saying when you clicked on that doodle. Some guy who made a prediction that it was going to be three days of darkness during the winter solstice. That's strange. Right? Okay. And that leads me to the fourth alarm. And it was me listening to one of my Hebrew brothers that's in Zion celebrating right now and his name is Howard Amaril. he's celebrating and he stated that yesterday that people was going to freak out when the sun was going to go out and be all over the place scampering and running you know because they wasn't prepared for it he just said this and for the first time I ever heard him mention Nibiru the red planet in which he called Wormwood that he said it was coming and so that was strange it gets us out of our comfort zone because the most has actually preparing us for the day of the Lord the day of the Lord is supposed to be a day of darkness and not light a day of trumpets you see so when everybody else is running around here with the head cut off because when the lights come off most people are gonna what freak out they're gonna freak out so everybody's here and everybody's in the state, wherever you are at. The scripture says that you're supposed to gather in Zion. God appointed him to open up the seals of judgment on this world. You follow me? That's when the stock market crash. That's when they start seeing wormwood come their way. You know what I'm saying? It's on its way right now. And when it hit the bottom of the pit, the Antichrist is going to start his system of numbering. Everything is before us. Uh, the fifth alarm is that... Hanukkah ends this year on December the 20th which is one day before the winter solstice and the winter solstice begin one day before the beginning of the Sabbath so if three days of darkness start on Thursday the 21st 2017 Sabbath starts on Friday then it will end on the Saturday Sabbath December 24th 2017 which is Christmas Eve again ironically we'll have a merry christmas this year so they're planning on the war and I already said what the war was going to be to wipe out all the indigenous people of this land off the face of the earth you know uh, and we read ezekiel 38 that states that they was going to go up against god's people in this end time and that it was going to be the, the sun was going to be darkened and the moon would not give its light and then it's going to be this war and then uh, God is going to call for a sword for them on every mountain and then it was going to uh, rain down brimstones on it. It's going to be red because Nibiru is going to be flying past. This is not, this is not no joke. This is real. Uh, the sixth alarm was when Wendy Williams dressed like the Statue of Liberty fell symbolizing the fall of America here. So it was a lot of fun, let's get started. Our first caress.
the seventh and final alarm. So seven alarms going on. Was the first day of winter which starts this year ironically on December 21st, 2017, winter solstice. And what makes this day eerie as hell is the Matthew 24, 20 verse that states, Pray that your flight will not occur in the winter or on the Sabbath. For at that time there will be great tribulation unmatched from the beginning of the world until now and never to be seen again. So the winter this year starts on Thursday the 21st and the Sabbath is the very next day. See? So if winter starts, pray that your flight be not in winter. And then the Sabbath is the next day or on the Sabbath. Ironically, that's fitting like a glove, folks. It's fitting like a glove. So, you know, uh, you may have less than 20 days to get your act together with God. You may have less than 20 days to be straight. And God said when he come back, your S-H-I-T better be straight. You better, you better not find no sin in you. We got a fiery trial, folks, that the Bible keep mentioning that we're going to be tested by fire and that earth and its works is going to be consumed by this fire. And you don't understand those meteorites is going to be falling soon. Right? And that's why they're spraying and spending trillions of dollars spraying these chemtrails to block whatever it is, but they ain't finna block it soon. And I mean real soon. Right? And so those meteorites, just like Sodom and Gomorrah, is marked from their Lord to hit specific targets. It will hit you if you are walking around with iniquity on your back. Woe to the man who carries iniquity on his back in those days. Clear yourself. Repent, people. Clear yourself. Repent. Get away from the sinners and the wrongdoers. Flee Babylon. I mean, get from the midst of them, even if you have to go in your house or stay away from their, their social outlets because you can't flee out of the city. Uh, get out of the midst of them. Uh... Olive oil your house down, man. Pray over your whole property all around it. Wrap the news. God bless you.